Google Maps. For some reason, this road has its pavement in the middle. I wonder why they did that. Pavement in the middle. And now into Eastern Gateway. And now to our first lift. Eco discs. This eco disc has orange lights. And now into Mary Seacole. Another eco disc. And now into John Crank, which has a generic lift, but unlike most generic traction lifts, which make a boring sound like uh, this one makes a nice tuneful C. This building is a generic. Doors opening. Doors closing. Let's see how slow it is. That's actually quite a nice sound. I'm going to get it to stop at five so I can hear it parting five. Fifth floor. Doors opening. Doors closing. motor noise for a generic. I like that motor. I like a 80s motor. Ground floor. It's a really nice motor noise. Doors open. You actually hear the motor noise more when you're going down to the counterweight. And now on to the lecture centre, a large brutalist edifice in the middle of the campus. It has three lifts. Two glass ZL Zeta lifts and a Titan lift. Landmark lifts. It's a generic. It's got zero, M and one. About 1.3 meters per second. It would be really unusual for generic to the synchronous motor. Ground. 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 Ground.
Doors open. See the big arm that does the doors. I think that is a Ziel Abeg Zeta motor. Now into this lift. And now into this side lift, which is called the theatre's lift. This lift is tiny. Look. Doors closing. There's another Titan lift. I hope it will have the same nice sounding motor as the other lift. Now it has a boring motor that just goes. And now to the next building, where there is a Schindler going up from the University Library, which is on the ground floor, into the Bannerman Centre, which is on the first to third floors. This is a Schindler. They've got a nice lift of the Schindler. One meter second. And now to the second generation Eco Disc in Hamilton. This looks a bit weird because it has the pseudo floor ground and then the floor dot ground. Look, the indicator changes to dot ground. And now into Wilfred Brown, which also has an Eco Disc. This building also also has an eco disc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the dark orange, not very good lights, so the dark and orange. And now into the Isambard Student Accommodation Complex. In this area, all of the buildings not only have their main entrances locked with a swipe card, but also all of the doors in the building are locked with swipe card access. And you swipe a swipe card to call a lift. This was frustrating, as even the toilets required a swipe card to go in, and I needed the toilet. Also, the lifts in these buildings call the ground floor double O. They're eco discs. The buildings are arranged in a really annoying way that makes it really easy to get lost. And this is the social amenity building, which has an eco disc. This is doors stay open until it gets a call. Look at the light reflection. It's like a turn of painting. It's slightly like, even messier. You turn the painting to like, it's a bit messy. Come on. The door closed button is not wired up. Door open is. 